man is doing. Or all the laws is being made. All we have to do is keep our eyes on Jesus. The author and finisher of our faith. Amen. So I'm going to get into the Word. And I'm going to read what you heard word read in your hearing. But I'm going to read uh, verses 1 through 5 and then verse 14. Amen. Uh, and this is St. John 1, 5, 1 through 5. It says, in the beginning was the word. That was in the very beginning was the word. <laughs> and the word was with God. And the word was God. Mm. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. The light shined in the darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Verse 14 says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Son of, of the Father, full of grace and truth. I want to use a, a background text now and go to 1 Peter 1, 24 and 25. And Peter says, For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man is the, as the flower of grass. The grass withers, and the flower therefore fades away. But the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. May the Lord have blessed to read his ears and do of his holy word. Let us pray. Father, I come once again as an empty vessel, Lord, just to be used by you, Lord. I don't have any word for your people, but Lord, you speak to them because they want to hear word from on high. So bless the people today, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way in this place. Uh, open their hearts, minds, and ears, Lord. But they'll be edified and you'll be glorified. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 I want to use for a subject today the Word of God. Amen. The Word of God. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. The Word of God. There is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, in this world that's more important than the Word of God. We are redeemed by the Word of God. We have been saved by the Word of God. We are delivered by the Word of God. Everything that we have is because God sent His Word. He sent His Word in the person of his son. We just read it. You know, I was looking at the beginning. Okay, in the beginning, in Genesis 1 and 1, it says, in the beginning, God. You see that? In the beginning, God created. And here in St. John 1, it says, in the, you know, in the beginning was the Word. How did God create? He created by the spoken Word. Amen. And here we see in St. John that that same Word was with God in the beginning. Amen. There was not anything made that was made. It wasn't made by Him right. in the beginning. Amen. Okay? Is that right? Amen. The word, the word of God, is not contrary to itself. Amen. Amen. 
But here the word, when we look at the word of God, we, we, we understand that the people in this world today, they do not want to deal with the word of God. And many of them just simply tell you when you're witnessing to them, I, you talking about the Bible, but I don't believe the Bible. See what I'm saying? So what about when you don't believe the word? You can't use the word to convert people, to save people, to open their eyes when they don't believe it. They've gone about, as Paul said about those Jews, they've gone about to establish their own righteousness because they don't want to submit to the righteousness of God. It's simple as that. Amen. 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 So one objection is raised by critics and they say it's about the word of God. Is they said, first of all, men wrote it. They said, and men are flawed. They say, so if men wrote it, right, and men are flawed, then the word is flawed. You hear about uh, there was books that are missing from the Bible. Some books are stolen. You hear all kind of <laughs> crazy demonic stuff to bring about doubt of the word of God. But right here we just found out that the word is God. Jesus is the word. Amen. So the minute that you doubt the word of God, you are doubting God. Come on. If you say you don't receive the word of God, then you don't receive God. If you say you don't want to deal with the word of God, then you are saying that you are not going to deal with God himself. Amen. Amen. So it says here, and I want you to understand something. This is the key to salvation. Amen. If you dismiss the word of God, then you're dismissing your own salvation. Come on. Jesus said, I am the way. Yes, he is. St. John 14 and 6. The truth and the life. So there's only one way. There's only one truth, and there's only one life that man can have, and it's all found in the Word of God, Amen. which is Jesus Christ. He said, and no one is going to enter my Father's kingdom. St. John 14 and 6. Amen. <coughs> all right, stay with me now. <laughs> no man cometh into the Father but by me. So I've heard a whole lot of influential people that people believe when they speak, they believe it's a pope, uh, a movie stars, talk show hosts, uh, sports stars, right? When they speak, people tend to listen. And they've said there's many roads that lead to heaven. They said you can't possibly be one way. They said the word of God is too exclusive. It doesn't include anybody. It's outdated. Uh, it's not for this time. Uh, one guy said that people change every day. So the word's going to have to change with the times. But I'm reminded how the Bible says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. So no, the word of God don't need to change. It's never going to change. Amen. Amen. He said that the word of God, heaven and earth will pass away. Amen. 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 Before one jot or tittle of this word of the law is found untrue. It'll never happen. Amen. Everything is going to burn, but the word of God is going to stand forever. Why? Because Jesus is the word of God. Amen. So let's look at a couple of the titles of the word of God. So when we look at uh, the word of God in this text is the written word. In Greek it's called logos. Okay? And the written word of God which can be thought of as the total message of God to man. See, some people say the Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. <laughs> and I'll take that. I, 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 mean, I, I like it. I like it. But the bottom line is the Bible is the only book, the only word that is alive and living and can has the power to change yes. your life. Amen. Yes. You know, you got a whole lot of self-help books, but they're not going to help you. Amen. 
Amen. They may make you feel better here on earth, but they're not going to do nothing to get you to heaven. Amen. This is the only book that can do that. Why? Because Jesus is the only way. Amen. But it says Logos is a written word of God. Amen. And and which can be and 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 God in the flesh, right? And the word became flesh. Unless you know that it's Jesus. Jesus is the word. It's clear, right? Amen. And dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. St. John 1 and 3. He said, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son. And shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Amen. So God saw that man was headed to destruction with no way out. And he said, I have to do something. I want to do something. Why? Because I love him. I love my creation. I'm not going to let it happen. So what did he do? The Bible says that he... The Holy Spirit overshadowed Mary and impregnated her. See, I know y'all look at this on the movies, but this is real stuff. This is the Word of God. This is the Bible. Because Mary was like, well, how, how is this going to be? Because I have never been with a man. He said, let me deal with that. I'm just telling you what's getting ready to happen. You're getting ready to be pregnant. Now, I know you haven't been with a man. So I'm telling you ahead of time so you don't flip all the way out. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? Because if you come up pregnant and you haven't been with a man, mm -hmm. you're going to flip all the way out because you're not going to know what then happened. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But the Bible says the Holy Ghost overshadowed her and she became with child. Yes. Amen. So Jesus was born of a woman, yes, but he wasn't born of a man. Amen. Amen. Why? Because God came down from heaven mm -hmm. in the person of the Son Amen. by the power of the Spirit mm -hmm. and to save us from sin and yes. death. Amen. Amen. That's why the Word of God is so important. Amen. Philippians. Amen. Says unto him, Lord, this, this is what have, this is what happens. He, Jesus asked Philip when he told him in St. John 14, in verse 8, Philip told Jesus, he said, Lord, show us the Father. And, 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 and look what it said, and, and, and it will suffice us. Jesus said unto him in verse 9, St. John 14 and 9, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? You know what he said? He that has seen me has seen the Father. He said, don't, don't get it twisted. It's not, uh, it's not confusing. He said, how says thou then, show us the Father? He, he, he told Philip, no, 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 no. You don't need to see the Father. You looking at it. St. John 10 and 24. Jesus tells them that him and the Father are one. And this is when they going this is why they crucified him. They crucified him for blasphemy. Because he claimed to be God. Amen. We're talking about the word now. The word of God. Then came the Jews around the bottom and said, look at this. It said unto him, now this is St. John 10. I'm starting at verse 24. It says, and told him, and, and, and ye believe. He said, listen. They came round the bottom, said unto him, how long dost thou make us to doubt? How long are you going to play these games with us? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Just say it. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered them and told him. He said, I told you, and you don't believe it. People of God, we're telling people every day in the world today, they don't believe it. Amen. Ain't that right? The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Amen. The prophets told you I was going to come and do all of this. Amen. 
But ye believe not because you are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice. Yes. Yes. And I know them. Amen. Does Jesus know you? Amen. Amen. And they follow me. Amen. Anybody that's born of the Spirit of God is not following the devil. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of God follows God. Amen. And I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father. Come on. I want. Amen. In the beginning was the Word. Yes. The Word was with God. The Word was God. Mm. Verse 31 says, Then the Jews took up stones again no. to stone them. Why? For blasphemy. Mm -hmm. See, I told you, he said he God. That's blaspheming. And they said, You can't. No man, he said, I'm he. It's me. Amen. Amen. Because he claimed to be God. Another Greek word used for the word word is rhema. Rhema refers to the spoken word. See, Logos is a written word. It's just as powerful as a spoken word. That's why the Bible tells us that we are what we speak. You have to be careful what you're saying. Why? Power in your words. Amen. He said we have the power of life and death in the tongue. Why? Because we made in God's image and after his likeness. He said every man is going to have to be judged what? For every idle word that come out of our mouth. He said, you better be careful. We are told in Ephesians 6 and 17 to take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. That spoken Word. It cuts like a knife. More like a scalpel. Amen. The praise, the phrase Word of God means more than the printed word on the page. God is a communicator. Amen. And has been speaking into the human realm since the beginning of time. Amen. Amen. God spake the world into existence. All it said was God said. And it was. Amen. And it was. And that's all that happened. After God said it, it happened. Amen. Let there be light. And there was light. Amen. 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 That same God was there in the beginning with the word. Because now we're talking about rhema, the spoken word. Amen. See, the word of God is more powerful than anything in this world. So if you deny the word of God, you're denying God. You're denying the power to be saved. Amen. He speaks through his creation. He spoke through his prophets, through the Holy Spirit, and through his word in the person of Jesus Christ. He came and he taught us how to live. And he taught us how to die. Amen. Amen. He said, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to show you. Amen. Amen. And it's amazing to me how Jesus came and suffered and died. And anytime we deal with any kind of suffering, mm -hmm. we want to know why. Mm -hmm. I would beg to differ. I said the better question would be why not? Amen. No one wants to suffer. It's not enjoyable. Right. Amen. Amen. But trials and tribulations are what draw us to God. That, th those are the things that change us into the people that God has called us to be. Amen. You're not going to become Christ-like. Amen. If you don't want to suffer. Right? Amen. I'm serious. It's not going to happen. The Bible said though he was the son of God, he learned obedience by the things that he suffered. Amen. 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 But Hebrews 1 and 1 
says that God who at sundry times and divers manners spake unto time that in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. He used to speak by the prophets. They didn't have the word of God. They didn't have the logos. Amen. He, he used the spoken word. Amen. But verse 2 says, As in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. He just said that the worlds were made by Jesus. Amen. Amen. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. That's why he told Philip, if you see me, you've seen the Father. Why? I'm the express image of God. I'm God incarnate. You see what I'm saying? I done took on flesh and a body. You looking at me. Mm. Woo, people of God. If the world could only understand this. If the world could only receive this. They would be able to accept Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm. It says that uh, in verse 3, Who being in the brightness of his glory, express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power. Amen. By the word of his power. We're talking about the word of God. Amen. When he had by himself purged our sins. He did it by himself. Yes, he did. And then sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Thank you, Jesus. you know, the Bible says that God is not going to judge no man. He said all judgment has been given to the Son. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We all going to sit before the what? Judgment seat of Christ. Yeah. That every man is going to do what? Be judged for the things done in his body, whether they be good or evil. Jesus is the one. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 4 and 12, the word yes. of God is alive and well. Amen. You look at verse 12, it says, For the word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder the soul, the spirit, and the joint and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. And you know, when I read that, I, I'm reminded how even back in the day, you know, you'd be trying to do some dirt and you hide from people. Ain't that right? You don't want people to see you. Amen. You don't. You say, no, we're going to have to be on the down low. We don't, you know, yeah, you know you know the song, Me and Mrs. Jones. We got a thing going on. Amen. But see, we can hide from people. You know, people got no heaven to hell for us. Though. But it says right here that there's nothing, nothing that we can do that God is not open and naked to God. He sees every. He already knows the thought and intent of our heart. Yes. He knows what we're going to do before we even come up with doing it. He knows what you're thinking before you think it. Yes. We can't hide nothing from God. Mm. Amen. We're naked. The Word of God exposes us. And that's a good thing. Amen. See, Satan wants to keep us bound, he wants us to keep secrets. Mm -hmm. The more secrets you got, the more in bondage you are. Why? You worried about somebody finding some out. You gotta have a clear conscience. You can't be worried about nobody finding nothing out. If you if he got a secret on you, boy, you in trouble. But God say, don't worry. I already know. You, you've been exposed in my eye. David said, well, from where can I go to, to flee from your presence? <laughs> He said, if I ascend into heaven, you they said, if I go down to the pit of hell, behold, you're there too. Yes. There's nowhere I can go where you're not there. Amen. 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 But we've been exposed. 
The eyes of God sees right through us. Yeah. Our pretense, our facade. Amen. Amen. We be faking it for people. He said, why are you wasting your time? <laughs> Just be real. The word is not old and outdated. Amen. Amen. It don't need to change. It's not dull and unaffected, inactive. The word of God is living and powerful. Yes. Cutting both ways. Amen. 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 Penetrating our deepest emotions. Discern, look, discerning our thoughts and motives. There is no part of our life that the word of God cannot reach. Amen. The word directs our path. David said that word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. So why is the world lost? Because they're stumbling around in the dark. They're stumbling around in the dark. The prince of this world has blinded their eyes so they can't see. That's why they're so lost. That's why they come up with stuff that makes no sense whatsoever. It don't even make common sense. But in their heart of hearts, they believe it. Yes. And the more I look, I never thought it would get to this point. Mm -hmm. That where people could rationally say <coughs> stuff that just completely don't make no sense. <laughs> the other day a woman asked him, he said, uh, can a man have a baby? Oh, and the lady said, of course he can. If it's a transgender woman, if, if he says, no, 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 can a man have a baby? Absolutely. The lady said, can't nobody have a baby unless they're born with ovaries. Hello. Hello. You can't go by you no ovaries. You can't have no surgery. They can take it out, but they can't put it in. Come on. Amen. Only God can do that. Yes, he can. And that's the definition of when they ask me, now what's the definition? I said, somebody got over it. They'd be like, wait a minute. I said, simple as that. If you ain't born, you weren't born no ovaries, you ain't no woman. Amen. 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 We need to wake up because we're talking about the word of God. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> but listen, the word of God is life eternal Amen. to those who believe. Amen. Amen. To those who accept Jesus Christ. We read it in our text. What he said here, I believe, is in verse 10. It says, He was in the world, and the world was made by him. Y'all, we talking about Jesus. We talking about God. We talking about the Holy Ghost. Yes. We talking about the Godhead yes. in full. Amen. Amen. And the world knew him yes. not. He came until his own, the Jews. And his own received him not. But as many as received him. See, everybody's not a child of God. Right only way you become a child of God is you got to accept Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior, and make Him Lord of your life. Amen. If you don't receive Him, if you don't receive the Word, you can't be born again. He said, but to them that received Him, to them gave He the power to become sons of God. Even to them that believe on His name. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man. It wasn't a human thing. They was born of God. Guess who else was born of God? Jesus. See, when we're born again, we're born of God. We're born. It's the immaculate conception. Did you know you was immaculate and conceived? <laughs> See, you didn't know that, did you? Jesus is not the only one with immaculate conception. You got it. Once you was born of the Spirit of God, you were born of God. Don't stop preaching. And everybody born of God is going to be with God. Forever. 
Why? Because it belonged to God. Amen. 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 And he ain't no absentee father. He takes care of his kids. Amen. He takes care of his responsibility. Amen. You ain't got to worry about him walking out on you. You ain't got to worry Free about him doctor. not answering the phone. You know, blocking you on his phone. You ain't got to worry about all that. Because he ain't going to do none of that. Amen. Amen. Because if you get out of line, he'll choke slam you right back in line. Amen. 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 Gee, look, the Lord will lay you flat on your back and have you be able to do nothing but look up and have all the time in the world. Yes, sir. You're just and looking up. You see, I got your attention now? Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah, you can't do nothing else now. Come on. Amen. Amen. He'll do it. If you look, you don't want to play with him. Don't mess around. Amen. He said he's chasing the ones he loves, and every son he receives, he rebuke. Amen. 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 So you don't want to be hard headed. Amen. Find yourself like Jonah. Amen. In the belly of a fish or something, like wishing you was in. A, he wishing you was dead. Amen. Amen. But he said, No, I ain't gonna kill you. I'm gonna make you wish you was dead. Amen. Amen. But he, God, knows us. He loves us. He loves us today just like he loved us when we were in the world. He never loved, he can never love us any more or any less. Because he loves us unconditionally. Amen. Amen. James 1 and 21 said the word of God saves our soul. We're all sitting here today because of the word of God. Amen. A seed was planted. Somebody used the word of God and you answered it. Amen. Yeah. We responded to it. And that's why you're sitting here today. Thank you, Jesus. If it wasn't for his word, we wouldn't be here. Amen. 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 But James 1 and 21 says, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness of superfluity. Of naughtiness. Just lay aside all that mess and wickedness you're doing. Amen. Amen. And receive with meekness. Okay. He said, I don't need you to be weak. I just need you to be meek. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You got power. Amen. I just need you to have it under control. Yeah. That's what meekness is, right? He said, receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able. To save Hallelujah. your soul. Amen. People of God, we're in a we're in a place right now, and I'm not gonna keep you long. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and finish this up next week. But I'm gonna tell you right now, cause I want cause it's good to me. See? Amen. And when it gets good to me, I'll be ready to go for another hour and a half. Come on, man. Amen. Amen. Very mother night. She says, "All right." <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> But the word of God is the key to everything in this life pertaining to godliness. So if people are going to reject the word of God and they have and go about establishing their own righteousness and they have saying that the word of God is relative, it doesn't mean anything then Jesus is going to have to come back. Which, and that's why he's coming back. Because this thing is going to get so bad. Just like it did in Noah's day that he's going to have to come back. Amen. Why? Because man's heart is going to wax worse and worse. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says it's going to come to the time to the point where the kids are going to turn on the parents. And the parents are going to turn on the kids. People are going to be delivering their own family up to be killed. You, you see what I'm saying? Right now, we are living with a world full of uh, demon-possessed kids, as far as I'm concerned. See, if you go to Hosea 4 and 6, and I'm, I'm going to deal with the rest of this next week, but I, now I'm getting ready to close. 
But in Hosea 4 and 6, he said, my people are perish for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But he said, it's not because they don't have the knowledge. See, we got the knowledge. Yeah. Nobody wants to deal with it, right? They don't want to deal with the word of God, right? He said, but they reject knowledge. Mm -hmm. just, he, 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 look, he said, I will also reject thee. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, he's speaking to the priests. Mm -hmm. Because the priests have become corrupt. Mm -hmm. Just like today, you got pastors and bishops and all these doctors, so and so, and they're telling people what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. They're not telling the truth because they want to keep members coming. So they're going to tell them what they want to hear. They're going to, he said they're going to come heap to themselves preachers with itching ears, right? It says, and look, he said, you shall be no priest unto me. That's what he mean. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also. I will also forget your children. What we're dealing with now is six-year-olds. 12 year olds that are killing people oh, in cold blooded murder. Jesus. Murder in the first degree. Mm -hmm. And man don't know what to do with it. Oh, Why? Because they're six years old. Mm -hmm. Well, they can't be held responsible. So, you know what the gangs do? Mm -hmm. They get to 12 year old, they say, Listen, we want you to kill these people. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, they can't do nothing to you. You're only 12. They have no compassion. They have no conscience. Why? Because they have no Christ in them. So they're glad to do it. To the point where they do it and video it and watch it for entertainment. We are living in perilous times. And the only reason that we are still here is because of the grace and the mercy of God. Amen. The only reason we read the Bible and watch it on the news and it's not us Amen. is because of God's grace Amen. and His mercy. Yes. The song says we'll never know how close we came to being taken out of this world. But God blocked it. He blocked it. We don't even know. I I'm serious. I... God pulled up beside the car the other day to go get something to eat, and these guys, it was a Mercedes, and they were sitting in there, <laughs> tattoos all over the place, no shirt on, and I got out, and I was like, oh, Lord, have mercy, because it looked like they were just waiting to carjack somebody, or, you know, home invade, whatever, they just sitting in the car, playing that death, murder, kill music, and, you know, looking just like hoodlums, you know, thugs, right? So I went in and I said, Lord, have mercy. I said, Lord, you're going to have to keep me. I said, Lord, just, just, just stay the hand. Just, if that's what it is, Lord, just keep them. Lord, because I don't want to go through all this court stuff and everything because I'm going to kill them both, Lord. Because I was packing. I'm just telling you the truth. I wasn't praying for them. I was praying for me. I was like, Lord, just keep me. Because if, if it happened, I'm about to go through all kind of court and everything. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? Amen. Because Amen, I ain't going out like that. So, you know, uh, the other day, and I'm getting ready to close now because I'm just telling you some stuff that I, that I know. But in Texas, three young men, and I'm closing because we're talking about the word of God. Three young men did a home invasion. They knocked on the guy's door late at night, and the guy was like, said, you don't even remember me, do you? I'm so-and-so, brother, whatever, whatever, right? He opened the door, and they bust in. They bust in. He didn't try to stop them. He just turned around and started running. He ran to the bedroom, and he locked the door behind him, okay? They in there ransacking one tried to get in, the door was locked. About two minutes later, he opened the bedroom door. 
He had an AR-15 with about 30 rounds. And he began to fire. <coughs> Popping. I don't know if you ever heard it. I shoot it all the time, but this sounds really nice. And look, look. They showed, because he got cameras around his house, but they showed them getting up out the house, bro. <laughs> And so the sheriff came on the news uh -huh. and he said, yes, what you just saw in the video was a home invasion, uh -huh. right? You saw the man, you know, shooting at the assailants, right? You know, one of them was hit fatally, right? Uh -huh. And if you need to know if that man is going to be charged with anything, he said, absolutely uh -huh. not. He said, we're not even going to arrest him. We ain't doing nothing. We're not going to ask him no questions. We're not doing nothing. He said, because we got it on video, and if anybody go up in your house, you have a right to defend yourself. Yes. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Baby, we're moving to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, but listen, on, on a serious note, you know, as we witness to these people, and they don't want to accept the word of God, don't get discouraged. Because remember the words of Jesus as I close. He told his disciples. He said, when you go to the house and you share it with them, and they don't receive it, he said, shake the dust off your feet. As a testimony against them, he said, just keep it moving. Why? He said, because it's not your word that they are rejected. He said, it's mine. Amen. 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 God bless you. May God keep you. Uh, I have a whole lot more to say about that, but I'm going to say it next week. Amen. For the interest of time. Amen. But thank you today for being here. And I'm not going to end this message without giving people online an opportunity now that they know what they know. See, people who are watching who don't know, if they take the time to just listen, as we did, and hear, and then the word can change them. Amen. And I believe there's some online, there's some here that they, they hear that God brings the increase. Yeah. So if that's you today, I want you to know that in Romans 10, 9 and 10, is up on the screen. It says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus yeah. and believe in your heart that God raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Thank Amen. Jesus, as you know by now, after this message, is the Word. He is the only way, truth, and the life. He's the only way back to the Father. So if you want to be saved, you don't want to go to hell, all you can do, you can repeat after me. This is called a sinner's prayer. Now, a lot of people are repeating this prayer, but they're not being saved. Because they don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God in their heart. They don't believe that Jesus was raised from the dead on the third day in their heart. They believe it in their head, but they don't believe it in their heart. If you believe it in your heart, Jesus promised that he would come into your heart and save you. He said, I'll come in. He said, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. If any man opened the door, he said, I'll come in. Yes. Yes. Right? He said, I'll suck with you. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, you'll go in and out and pass it. You'll have. He said, so, but you got to invite me in. Yes. See, because we can't save ourselves. We can't get ourselves right. Amen. Okay? We can't do it. But he's saying, if you, if you trust me enough to let me in, I'll come in and I'll clean you up. I'll do what you can't do on your own. That's what he's saying. So if that's you today, we're standing. We're just standing. Is there anybody here today who wants to be saved, who wants to accept Jesus Christ in their heart? If it is, raise your hand. All right, praise the Lord. Praise Lord. Then you repeat after me this simple prayer made it in your heart. And God promised Save you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father God, I'm a sinner. 
Don't be said like, don't be ashamed. Father God, I'm a sinner. Father God, I'm a sinner. And I've sinned against you. I repent of my sins. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I believe that Jesus Christ is your only begotten Son. I believe that He died on that cross for my sins. I believe that on the third day you raised Him up from the dead. I believe according to the Holy Scripture, according to your word. If I die believing in you, Lord Jesus, in my heart, you promised that you would raise me from the dead. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart. Holy Spirit, I give you control of my life. And Father, I ask that you save my soul. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. According to the word of God. You've been born again. Now what is the proof of this change? The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. All and all things are of God from that point on. Your attitude is going to change. Your want to's is going to change. It may not all change at once, but it's going to change. Okay? Your, your uh, relationship with God is going to change. How you feel about sin is going to change. What you think about the Word of God is going to change. Everything is going to All things, he said, like, uh, will be made new. But well, how do you do it? you got to keep coming. you got to keep searching. you got to keep dealing with the Word of God. If you don't, the Bible said the devil will come right now. As soon as you walk out that door, he'll snatch it away. He'll, he said he'll take it out of your heart. Just take it. So understand the tricks of the devil. This is the first step. You got to keep on coming towards Jesus. Every day, every Sunday. Whether you feel like it or you don't. Amen. Give the Lord a hand, praise. Yeah.